Hi Vanessa here. In this video I am going to show you how I wet block my granny squares. So I just released the video for this granny square. I'll leave a link for that if you're interested in um, the pattern. And I also made this blocking board which um, I also have a video for so I'll link both of those um, in the corner and in the description box. If you don't have a blocking board, you can use a foam board. So something like, like this. Okay, I bought this on Amazon and um, I uh, measured that out and that's what I was blocking my last um, square. And you can hold it down with pins, like little T-pins like this. Or you can use actual blockers. So these are Knitter's Pride. So there's two sizes. There's the larger one and these are half the size. This one has four pins. This one has eight. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you will be notified every time I post a video. All right, let's get started. So wet blocking is pinning your work down and just wetting the, the piece. So I have a bottle here, it's just water. Okay, so I have some that are already on my blocking board. These are the ones that I've completed and they all look pretty scrunched up. And here's one that I blocked. So you can see a huge difference with that and <laughs> with that. I'm going to place my square into this spot here that I already placed my pins in. So I'm just going to place the corners in there. Okay, so now that I have my granny square in here, I'm just going to grab my bottle and I'm just going to spritz over my granny square. And that'll help relax the stitches. So when you're blocking, it's a good time to shape or fix anything that you need to, especially if you're working with lace or intricate stitches. Okay, and as I make each one, I'll just place it right on top, like I did over here. I pre-measured these holes, so I know that this is a six by six. If you're using the foam board um, and you want a certain size, it's a good idea to mark that first so that you can pin it to the edges. Um, they do have blocking boards, foam blocking boards that have uh, measurements and lines so that it's easier for you to block your work. Okay, now that I have this one in, I'm going to grab my water bottle again and I'm just going to spritz it. And on to my next one. So that is it. That's how you wet block your granny squares. I actually don't put them that close at first. So I'm going to lift it up to give it some air. If I'm doing a bunch at a time, I'm not going to stack them right on top of each other. So they're like, not really touching each other right there. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much in advance for all of your support and uh, I'll see you in my next video.